In my career, I've known some amazing people. I actually had a partnership with a doctor from New York and he talked like this. He was an amazing guy, Dr. Capo Bianco. And he worked with me in Texas for a couple of years and we had a great time together. He eventually wanted to move back to New York because I missed the smell of diesel fuel and those hot dogs. Well, Dr. C, I have good news for you and bad news. Those hot dogs, they're probably great once in a while, but those diesel fumes, seven times the risk of cancer in people who are chronically exposed to diesel fumes. There's a new study done on miners, 12,000 miners over a period of 50 years, compared to smokers, non-smokers, and people who just breathe diesel fume. Diesel fume breathers had seven times the risk of cancer. Diesel fumes are bad news. Toll collectors, miners, hot dog vendors, all those people who are chronically exposed to diesel fumes have a significantly increased risk of cancer. I don't think this study specifically said this, but you yourself can take that data and just stretch it out a little bit and consider, because this doesn't take much effort. You don't want to be in a situation where you breathe the exhaust of any petrochemical product, gasoline, diesel fumes. You don't want to put that on your body. You don't want to put Vaseline type products on your body, except for very limited amounts because of the fact that you'll be getting some exposure to petrochemicals. Synthetic drugs are produced from petrochemicals. You want to limit your exposure. What I'm saying to you basically is you want to make good choices, wise choices about your exposure to any petrochemical product. Diesel fumes increase your cancer risk by 700%. So what we do know is that specific area is massively risky. So all these other areas that you can control, choose your cosmetics properly, use your head. Don't eat foods that are processed with all sorts of um, saturated fats and synthetic activity. You don't want that kind of thing in your body. They increase your risk of cancer. So make sure that you get with your doctor and make sure that the medications that you're taking as much as possible are bioidentical natural compounds. Work with your doctor, take really good care of what you expose your body to, and remember, we're better together.